Hello and welcome to this new edition of The Explained, where we dive deep into the issues of today. I am your host, Ocean Grace Daniel, and I am joined by Anuradha Karandram, who is a senior sub-editor with The Week magazine. You must have heard about the recent buzz around the SARS-like virus uh, spreading out of China, uh, the coronavirus. If you haven't, hit the link in the description below and listen to the podcast on Coronavirus Explained. As of now, China has widened uh, a lockdown in Hubei province, which is the epicenter of the outbreak. The virus has claimed about 26 lives and it has infected over 800 people in China alone. Um, It is also present or it is detected in eight countries as of now. Before we head to what is going on in China, let us quickly have a look at what coronavirus is. According to the WHO, coronavirus is a, uh, they are a group of viruses causing illness ranging from fever to common cold to most severe diseases like um, Middle East respiratory syndrome and severe acute respiratory syndrome. Under an electron microscope, these viruses look like rings with spikes. As a matter of fact, they are named for their spikes. Uh, The word corona means crown in Latin. The virus contains strand of RNA which only multiplies or reproduces after it enters a living cell. Once it enters the cell, it becomes a virus factory and then it is shipped, the viruses which are multiplied, it is shipped to other cells and then it causes a, a sort of hijack in their machinery. The cycle keeps going on. And it is, this is how the disease spreads. People in China have been asked to take preventive measures to restrict the spread of the virus. The standard recommendations for halting the spread of the disease include regular hand washing, covering the mouth while coughing and sneezing, thoroughly cooking meat and avoiding close contact with people who have symptoms like fever, cough or sneezing. But that is just me sitting here and talking about China. I think it's best that we hear it from someone who's been there. Anuruddha was recently in China and I think he has a first-hand experience of what is actually happening in China. So let's ask uh, him about what is actually the the situation in China right now. So Anuruddha, did you know about the severity and intensity of the virus before planning this travel? I did not know about the severity before I was planning this travel. Sanjay Ghosh, our photo editor and I were on an assignment in NN province. NN province is uh, around 700 kilometers south of Beijing and 500 kilometers north of uh, Wuhan, which is the epicenter of this virus. So uh, there were a few deaths that were reported those days, one or two deaths. But when I asked the locals in NN province, none of them knew about this virus. That was uh, surprising for us. Uh, So I used to get news reports from India, but uh, none of these people knew about this virus. They were the Chinese locals there. But after four days in Anand province, when we reached Beijing, that's when we got to know the seriousness of the issue. That's when we saw everyone uh, uh, panicking in the city. Okay. What are the precautions that people are taking over there? The precautions, as in more 80% of the crowd that we saw in Beijing, they were putting on uh, the uh, surgical masks. Uh, almost everyone on the streets. Uh, this, they say, is more to do because uh, the New Year festival is coming up and none of them want to get uh, ill at this time because they look forward to this festival. So, I mean, it is as a precautionary measure, they do it. And moreover, I've seen, uh, I've, I've been told by uh, my contacts there that during summer season when the pollution level is very high in Beijing, people wear masks every day. So that's part of their culture, wearing masks, and they don't want to get ill. And I think there was a case reported from Beijing. That's when uh, people started panicking. And the crowded place, most crowded place was the airport. Airport, uh, because people were traveling here and there. China is a big country, so people have to go to their homes. So it was looking worse than Indian airports. The, uh, the Be- Beijing airport and the other airports that we went there. And ni- 80 to 90% of the people were wearing uh, surgical masks, including the security officials. Okay. Do you think people are sensitized about the severity of the disease 
like do people know what what will happen once they are affected they are, they are sensitized and uh, they are more aware of it uh, i think a similar virus uh, had uh, come there in beij i think china in uh, i think 15 years ago or 16 years ago a sars virus and they knew the repercussions they knew what is going to happen if they don't take care so people are more uh, aware and i think uh, uh, they were getting inputs from uh, various sources so they they were playing it safe i guess and uh, naturally chinese people are more aware than indians uh, what about your security check uh, the airport there and over here yeah. was there a big difference there was a big difference because we were exiting beijing so when we were exiting beijing there was no need for them to check us but uh, when we uh, reached cochin cochin was one of the seven airports uh, uh, where the uh, union civil aviation ministry had set up equipment to check passengers coming from beijing so uh, when we reached cochin airport uh, there there was checking uh, but surprisingly there was a help desk set up there and uh, the help desk there we went and told them we are coming from beijing so the guy sitting there said uh, please carry on you don't ha- have to uh, do a check up here uh, so we went to the immigration counter so at the immigration counter they were about to stamp on my uh, visa that i have arrived that's when i told them i'm coming from beijing because it was via colombo the ticket so maybe they would have seen colombo to kochi and they realized that i'm somebody coming from colombo but that's when i told i'm coming from beijing uh, th- then they told me to go uh, they, they asked me whether my check up was done so i told them uh, those guys told me not to uh, do the check up you can carry on so uh, the person there got angry he got up from there and he was uh, yelling at this help desk uh, official there and uh, a- apparently there was no coordination between them Uh, so somebody had to uh, do the check up and then send us to the immigration counter it was happening the other way around so and the immigration official apologized to us and said uh, because uh, very few chinese uh, passengers are coming to cochin they were not prepared for it so this this won't happen again they said thank you anuradha although there's no cure for it now scientists are working on developing a vaccine as for all you travelers out there Make sure you follow all the safety precautions. Stay safe, stay healthy and stay tuned. Thank you.